mom. You know, I feel like I'd be a worse mom if I, sorry, moms, if I drank, you know, a bottle of wine at night and was like sloshy drunk in front of my kid. Like, I don't think that's okay. So, right. you know, <laughs> but that's yep. just me. I'd rather go into a separate space, smoke a joint away from my kid and then come back and be like, hey, let's yeah. hang out. Let's play Jenga. Let's how's your homework? You know what I mean? Like, let's read a yeah. book. Like it's, yeah. it's, I think it's much more better. More and, well, so I'm sorry. Precious. We're like so much more present and intentional. I feel than being, even when they do get, when they do get slosh, it's kind of like, okay, I'm gonna turn on music and be here. And you still, you know, they're left alone for the most part with, you know, that environment, I should say. Yeah. Um, but yes, thank you for sharing that. I know it was a touchy subject, but I think it also gives people, you know, a better perspective and a fuller spectrum of your life and your journey and why you advocate yeah. in the way you do, because I follow you on uh, LinkedIn as well. And I love your posts. I love how you speak about it. I love um, just everything, how you advocate for the plan is very um, well-rounded. I think you're able to touch mainstreams, you know, kind of curious people. And like you said, those people who are just not ready to share their story or maybe they're, you know, maybe they're just on the like cherry of figuring out if they're like even okay with edibles, which again, this is why yeah. we love you know, doing what we do. You write the blogs. I'm over here podcasting. The open conversations, the educational pieces around this plant is going to be kind of like the hope where people start to understand it a little bit better. Um, 100%. So, yeah. That's one of the yeah. reasons why I'm uh, I'm also a gangier and uh, gangier in training right now, um, which is super exciting. I love the people who run the program. I love the instructors. I love a lot of people who are already certified gangiers. I have a few of them in my life, and um, they're part of the reasons I I signed up for it because they were like, "You would kill this. You're already super knowledgeable. Like, just pull the trigger and do it." And uh, because I'm writing and because I love educating people, you know, I wanted to just have that little bit of certification beside, you know, it's never, never bad to have a little bit of certification, a little bit of education behind you. So um, hopefully next time you talk to me, I'll be a certified gangier, you know. I love it. I love it. I love the program. I've thought about it myself. Um, yes. And yes, absolutely. It's like investing in yourself is 100% needed in today's industry. Um, yeah. and those are the best things to do. And, and like, you're doing something you love. So it's just going to be, you know, like a breeze, breeze in the park. Um, yeah, exactly. I'm excited to hear about it. I hear, um, you know, it's really fun to be one, obviously you're going to get the fucking tours at the farms. And so like, yeah. you, um, Love farms. then you're going to get to, you know, learn how to set the flower and that's super fun but i think also the network that you guys built to my understanding like from the your class every year um mm -hmm. so that's really exciting uh, have you yeah uh, this is all virtual because i think they have yeah virtual and then you have to meet in person so right? yeah there's an online course and then uh, you have um live in session you know training and um, and I'm super looking forward to that. I've scheduled mine for in September because I figured the plants will be like super beautiful around that time. So I was trying to like Little time girls. it right, you know? <laughs> yeah, I want to see all these girls. Really? He's like, yes. show me your girls. Yes, expose yeah. them. Let me see them. <laughs> Sorry, girls. I know that was, but <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, and then you do the testing after you're done with the live, uh, the in, in person training. So, yeah, I'm nervous, um, you know, but I had some very dear friends, uh, Claudio Miranda and Jocelyn Shellstraw of mm -hmm. Buddhist. Um, yeah. Claudio was yeah. my boss for years at Guild Extracts. Uh, they got me, you know, my start in cannabis. They took care of me and my son while my son was uh, fighting cancer. You know, they gave me a really flexible schedule and um, they're still like family to me, even though I don't work there anymore. Uh, love Claudio, love Brad, love Ashley. And so, um, yeah, Claudio was kind of the one who was like, you should do it. He, him and Jocelyn got certified together, which I think yeah. is so adorable because they right. are um, together and besties and 
Um, yeah. So yeah, shout out Claudio for, for pushing me and shout out to my husband for buying me the course as a Christmas present. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Yes, yeah. yes. I love it when our husbands are, are supportive of our goals <sighs> as women. And, you know, I, today they they get a lot of riffraff and I think, you know, for me, there's good out there. There's some good men out there and there's a lot of them yeah. that support what we're doing. Like shit like yes. this, like how he's holding them down. Um, yeah. and making sure that I don't, they don't fucking barge in the door. And so I love that. Way to him. Yeah. You know, and, and I do want to say that a lot of those good men, you know, we, we are lucky enough to know them in the industry and a lot of those good men might be very masculine and not at yes. all masculinity is toxic. I think, yes. you know, a degree of masculinity, is very important. And uh, my husband is super masculine. He would never call himself an alpha, but he is definitely like the leader of the pack and he supports me fully. And that's what a real alpha does. Is